You know, there's nothing I love more than old Americana. This is gonna be a cool freaking vlog. Oh yes, this is going to be a cool freaking vlog. Hello world, Uncle Heavy here. Today I'm on location in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I'm here to visit the Hoover Mason Trestle here, which is on the original location of the Bethlehem Steel Plant. Now, unfortunately, the trestle itself is closed, but I'm still gonna take a walk around and check out some of the cool buildings and structures here. It's something you're not gonna wanna miss. So, no tickets required today. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Do come along. Camcorder. My. No way. This is my kind of playground here. It's just completely abandoned. There's nobody here. Nobody! All these former buildings. This is the former mills of Bethlehem Steel. And I believe it closed in 1995. Now, there's a walkway up there that unfortunately is closed. We can't go up, but I'm gonna see how much footage I can get from down here. Check out those views from up there all this old machinery just sitting here so an interesting bit of trivia about this place if you've ever heard the song allentown by billy joel it was actually written about this factory here bethlehem steel he wrote it with the intention of working it in there but unfortunately bethlehem didn't have the flow of the word allentown if you're not from the area, Allentown is actually one city over, so it kind of knitted together in the song, but this is what he wrote the song about, Bethlehem Steel. Look at these buildings. Just imagine the amount of work that used to happen here. Look at those towers. This is a bit of a bummer because you can see there's a staircase that goes up to a walkway that lets you get right up and close and personal with all that equipment. It's currently closed due to the conditions. But I was in the area, figured I'd stop by, get some shots regardless. Just gives me another place and another excuse to come back and get an even cooler vlog. Bethlehem Steel operated this plant from around 1863 to 1995. It was at one time the second largest steel producer and the world's biggest shipbuilder. It manufactured railway cars, battleships, and tons of building material. Today there are still five inoperative blast furnaces left at this facility to see. Some notable structures built with materials produced at Bethlehem Steel were the George Washington and Golden Gate Bridges, Madison Square Garden, Rockefeller Center, the Hoover Dam, and the Wonder Wheel at Coney Island. I mean, we're just walking right down the middle of the street here. Think of the thousands of workers that used to just come here every day. The really nice thing is, is that they did reclaim something like this and they've turned it into a park, kind of preserving the yesteryear of America and industry in America, specifically the steel industry in America. Remnants of old windows and where old machinery used to run. Now silent. I look at that stack right there and that, that is literally the diameter of my car and wonder what sort of furnace was connected to that thing that required such a huge stack. But 
here's the walkway of all the buildings that we just came down. Completely vacant. This is just so freaking cool right here because this building is just all empty and you can't experience what I'm experiencing. I, I smell like the axle grease, the smell of machinery, that industrial smell. It's just very cool. Such a nerd. Here's a nice backside view of the foundry itself. Right now, actually underneath the railroad tracks that used to transport all the steel goods when it was manufactured. Hi, Michelle. Hello. I gotta do my, my standard Uncle Heavy point. There it is. Check it out. I can't stop looking at these towers here. look at that's freaking cool I don't I have no other words to explain that is just cool oh my gosh look at this so badly want to go over that fence right now look at how amazing that is the upper tower there dropping down here Now I have no idea what came out of that chute right there, but I am not exaggerating. You could drive a Winnebago through there. That's how large it is. I'm trying to shoot through the fence here. Yeah, all this machinery just sitting here. Fascinating. Sadly, can't go back there. I think it's time for me to go urbex. No, I'm just kidding. One last shot of the buildings over there that are empty. A little bit of cool detail here on the former trestle. You can see it's slowly rusting away and falling apart. Just have to get all these chimneys here. So many chimneys. Wow. So amazing. So that's his gas blowing engine house. Huh. Not sure what that means. So here's a little bit of evidence that it didn't close all that long ago. You can see there's a pretty modern yield to oncoming traffic sign there. And a bus stop sign right there. Jump up and down on the squishy again. It's a squishy. I think it's a playground. Walking along the bottom of the trestle here, and this track was how the factory transported different materials and different parts of manufacturing to different parts of the plant. That is a huge wheel. It's just huge. Look, they even have a stage here. Oh, you know I have to go up there. All right, get off the stage, Dave. I still really want to know what came out of these chutes here. I wonder if it was just exhaust or what. It kind of has that real life Guardians of the Galaxy look to it, doesn't it? Not really a matter of historical significance, but they've got this pretty cool Mack truck stop here. I think it's a bar. Kind of a cool little sculpture right here. Another shot of all those towers from the other side. This is just incredible. Rusty gold. I want to make sure I get a shot of some of these hills. Just so many amazing angles here. If I was still back in my 
still photograph days, I would just have a ball here. Looking at these, I guess you'd call them ruins. It's almost reminiscent of when we visited the castle at Kenilworth in England. Well, not quite, but kind of, sort of. For some reason, I find this so cool. Look at the way the trees and the, and the plants have started growing in between where the mortar used to be on the stone. That's just very, very cool. You've got the nice old buildings here, and in the background you have those church steeples sort of coming over the tree line. Looks like that roof has seen some better days. Still very cool. Another kind of transitional picture. You've got the last of the old buildings of Bethlehem Steel and some new industry just to its right. Since I was so distracted by all these buildings, I almost completely missed all these. This, this is a rolled steel I-beam. This was one of the major products of Bethlehem Steel, obviously for construction. Yeah, that's, that's pretty solid. That is freaking cool. Well, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up down below and tell your friends. If you're new to my channel, check out some of my other vlogs. If you like them, consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified of any future vlogs I put up. Till next time, signing off from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Bye-bye. <laughs>